Hi, my name is Thomas Terigen. I'm product manager at Cascade Microtech. If you want to share measurements at various millimeter wave bands on one probe station, you are challenged with several different mechanical setups. In this video, I'd like to show you how easy this can be. Here's the EPS 200 millimeter wave manual probe platform, on which I will demonstrate this to you. This platform enables various broadband and banded millimeter wave application setups by using so-called Sigma integration kits. We have chosen this platform as it allows a quick and fast movement between the calibration area and the main wafer area in combination with the overlaid true submicron chuck positioning. Also the rock solid vibration and drift free setup is essential for good millimeter wave measurements. For holding the various Sigma kits, the Platen has several mount points for various integration solutions. Basically, such a Sigma kit is the glue between the probe station and the measurement instrumentation integration. So for various setups, we offer various different Sigma kits. Ideally, you would have a dedicated integration kit for each of your setups. For example, one waveguide sigma kit for 60 to 9 gigahertz banded or one sub terahertz sigma kit for 325 to 500 gigahertz application. This is very convenient as changing between the applications is a matter of seconds. But if you very rarely change and you are on tight budget, you might want to minimize the components you purchase. For all kinds of banded applications on EPS 200 mm wave as well as on EPS 150 mm wave, this is very easy. The best option is to use one sub terahertz sigma kit with an additional arm upgrade option. All you need then is a little reconfiguration of the sigma kit depending on the module and application you use. Let me demonstrate how easy this is. For simplicity, I just show you this one on the west side positioner. For the east side, everything is identical. Let's start with setups in the 60 to 220 GHz range. There are several large form factor millimeter wave modules available on the market. They are very easy mounted to the integration kit like this. Just insert the millimeter wave module in the clamp and fix it with the screws. For this application you need the additional arm which you simply mount like I show you here. Afterwards, you mount the Sigma kit on the platform at the position which is marked as Waveguide Terahertz. Now you connect an appropriate waveguide to the module and afterwards the appropriate probe to the arm. Now you are ready for test. If you need to change to the new slim factor millimeter wave modules from VDI, this is a very easy reconfiguration. First you are removing the probe, waveguide and large case module.
Now you prepare the slim module. After you remove the feet, you are removing the feet plate as I show you here and mount the adaption plate, which comes with the arm upgrade kit, in between. The four thumb screws are mounted inside of the clamping block and afterwards you easily insert the adaption plate with the module in it and fix. Now you are simply attaching the according waveguide and probe and again you are ready to test. For higher frequencies, especially above 220 GHz, it's more and more important to have minimum losses in the connection between the module and the probe. For this we have a solution too. Direct probe mount. Here is what is needed to do this. Again, remove your current setup from the Sigma kit and remove the front arm. We start with the mounting of the chuck razor under the chuck. The stage offers a very easy bayonet system for this, so no tools needed to mount it. Finally, connect the vacuum tubes for the main and auxiliary chuck vacuum. That was easy. As the chuck has raised significantly, we also need to raise the scope. This is easy as the scope adapter allows a simple, tool-free adjustment to the raised position. Now it's time to mount the millimeter wave modules to the platform. In our case here, it's a 325 to 500 GHz one. At the front of the module, we are mounting the short S-band. Now we mount the probes to the short S-bands. And again, we are ready for testing. In this setup, we achieve the shortest possible connection between the probe and the module for best measurement performance. Please check out our other video where we show you how to safely pre-positioning the probes by using the crash protector and operate the sub-terahertz testing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.